So what is the protocol for dealing with snake bites? In some cases, it's not what you were probably taught. KPIX 5's Don Ford is our myth buster tonight on how you should handle a venomous snake bite. 13 times now by rattlesnakes. You've been bit? Yes. Al Wolf is director of the Sonoma County Reptile Rescue. He handles thousands of snakes. He knows what he's doing, he's careful, and he knows the feeling when snake venom attacks your body. You'll feel it in your mouth, a tingling, a numbness, a weird taste, your fingers might tingle, your toes, your nose, your eyebrows. All these little feelings can happen. Um, pain will come a bit later. Al says that it's the modern anti-venom that has saved his life and so many other lives. People really don't die from snake bites anymore. Lori Osborne is the education director for the Reptile Rescue. She says some old school ideas about treating snake bites can be more dangerous than the bite itself. The tourniquets can actually cause the venom to pool in one place and cause more tissue damage in that one place. They say don't try to suck the venom out, never cut the bite with a knife, just get to the hospital. All the hospitals in Bay Area have anti-venom. It's, it's a pretty common thing. The reptile rescue team is getting dozens of calls for rattlesnake removal, and the pace is picking up. And this is what we do five or six times a day. With the weather warming up in the Bay Area, there will be a lot more snake sightings, which means unless you're careful, there could be a lot more snake bites. In Sonoma County, Don Ford, KPIX 5. Now, if you get the anti-venom medication within an hour of being bit, you have the best chance of a full recovery.